Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Those new to this channel, my name is Dai, and today I'm going to show you how to make this, which is one of my favorite Japanese comfort foods. It's called katsudon. Deep fried panko coated pork cutlet, simmered in a sweet soy dashi broth, and topped off with spring onions and sumptuous eggs. The ultimate in Japanese comfort food. Now let's crack on. First, peel and cut into half one medium onion. Then thinly slice half of the onion, roughly to around five millimeters in width. Next, take one spring onion and cut off the root. Then, using your finger as a glide, carefully slice diagonally into thin strips. Next, take one pork loin steak, around 150 grams in weight. You can choose a thicker or thinner one if you wish, just make sure to adjust the recipe and cooking times accordingly. Next, cut through the fat and connective tissue on the pork loin. This is done to avoid any curling up of the pork when frying. Very gently pound and tenderize the pork with your knife, making sure only to score the meat and not to cut through it. Into a bowl, add around a quarter of a cup of plain flour. Then into a separate bowl, crack three medium eggs and beat very lightly. By overbeating your eggs, you won't get the light and fluffy finish you're looking for. Next, lightly season both sides of your pork with some salt and white pepper. You can use black pepper if you wish. Take your pork and generously dredge the entire loin with a plain flour. Then pat to remove any excess flour. Take your pork and dip well into the beaten egg. Add your pork to the panko, covering well to ensure full coverage. Any leftover panko can be stored in the refrigerator or freezer to be used at a later date. Next, take a small pan and add 50 milliliters of water. Add one third of a teaspoon of Bonito stock powder. Add one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Add one tablespoon of mirin. And finally, add one teaspoon of sugar. Turn on the heat to maximum and stir until the sugar has melted. Add your sliced onions. And once the sauce has come to a boil, turn down the heat and slowly simmer until the onions have softened. Into a pot, add your cooking oil and heat up until it reaches 175 degrees Celsius. Next, add your pork loin and cook on each side for roughly two to three minutes, depending on the thickness of the loin. You'll know when the pork has cooked through as the loin will be quite stiff when picked up. Remove the pork from the oil and then place onto some kitchen towel to remove the excess oil. Once cooled down, cut into around one inch thick slices. Turn on medium heat to your pan with your onions. If you think your sauce is not enough, you can simply prepare and add more of the sauce. Next, add your pork. When making katsudon at home, I always use a standard frying pan like shown in the corner video. Next, add your spring onions to the pan and cook for a further one minute. Finally, add your egg over the sauce and over the pork. Cook until your eggs have reached your desired consistency. All that's left now is to place your pork and eggs over a bowl of hot steamed rice. I hope you enjoyed watching that recipe. I'm absolutely starving. It's three o'clock now and this is my lunch. So I'm gonna get stuck in. Oh, look at that. Nice chunk of pork. With that fluffy egg on top. Okay, mas.
Wow. Mm. Mm. So, so good. Ultimate comfort food, honestly. You've got these beautiful eggs that are really fluffy and creamy. And I love the contrast between the spring onions, which are slightly acidic, and the sweet onions. And I love how the coating of the katsu is slightly gelatinous, where the panko breadcrumbs have become soft after being simmered in the broth. It's just jiggling around. Hmm. Hmm. So now I'm going to put some of this knotty seaweed on top of the katsudon. Okay. There we go. Wow. Chase that up with some rice. So the nori seaweed and the shimmy chili powder is completely optional, but I think it just adds Another level, another dimension to the dish. The nori seaweed really gives it a rounded taste. And I like the slight kick from the chili. What I really love about this recipe is the balance between the sweet onions, the sugar and mid-in in the broth. And then you've got the savouriness from the soy sauce. And these fluffy eggs are just absolutely beautiful. One good tip with regard to the eggs, don't whisk them too much. Just give them a light whisk and that way you'll get an area, a much fluffier egg. Mm. I love how some of the pork is still a bit crispy, and then some of it's quite gelatinous, where the panko breadcrumbs have been simmering in the broth. Please try this one at home. I promise you, all the family will love this. It's Moorish, ultimate comfort food. Mm. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and to like the video if you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye bye.